Someone set me up. Someone from the inside. Lorraine. There's a double agent hunting our operatives in Berlin. Your mission. Find out who did this. Remember, trust no one. Your contact is David Percival. But what was your first impression? Disasters. Berlin has its own set of rules. I trust you that as far as I can throw you. You sent me into a hornet's nest. Well, then you knew that, didn't you? in your seatbelt. The clock is ticking. I'm impressed. Steven and Steve. Uh, nice Steve. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, Steve, Spandau Ballet. I mean, uh, Berlin Spandau, Spandau Ballet. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah. World premiere, back together. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And I actually live, uh, Sabrina here, my girlfriend, lives in Berlin. So we, we sort of spend half the time in England, half the time in Berlin, and then I must get my Deutsch together. I know. Yeah, but yeah. The, 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 I think the difficult bit is that everyone wants to practice their English with you instead of their German. That's exactly right. So, so you, need to, you need to do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve, uh, Spano Belli is, you know, an amazing, very influential group. You got back together in 2009. Um, you know, the 80s, sound-wise, especially with a lot of German singing artists like Nina, Falco, uh, how would you describe that music scene back then in the sound? Well, I mean, I will go a little bit further back and say that it was kraut rock and people like uh, La Dusseldorf and, and uh, Nina, Nina Hagen and especially Kraftwerk that inspired us to form a band. Which Really? Uh, absolutely. Why do you think we're called Spandau Ballet? Okay. Makes sense. We were paying it back, okay. you know. Good. Yeah. Okay, so, so basically, uh, German music has influenced your career. I mean, that's kind of crazy because I would say that the English music scene is by far the more creative. If you think about it, the, the, the Brits, the English, they, they grabbed music like black music, you know. We, we took the blues and we created the Rolling Stones and then sold it back again, you know, took it back over there. That's what we do. Okay, yeah, but, but you do it in a good way. Well, uh, listen, we obviously put our stamp on it, but I think the 80s as well, not just Spanner, but there's still, people are still sort of taking songs and still influenced by the, by the whole music scene of the 80s. It was a very rich period of music and culture, and I think it's still a lot that we're tapping into. Like, like, you know, this film, you know, it, it's not just the lighter end of the, the sort of pop music of the 80s. You've got The Cure in there, you've got dark Depeche Mode, you know, and that, that sort of darker side really is interesting as well. It goes great with the film. I mean, you've got a, a very feisty blonde with knee-high boots and a gun. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly, right? nothing. <laughs> you know, we had a couple of uh, influencers and, and uh, YouTubers just on the carpet, and they were all born at the end of the 80s, early 90s. How would you describe the 80s, you know, style-wise and musically to them? The, the great thing about the 80s is that the, the music and the bands came out of it, and they, fought, they, they, were, they formed themselves. They weren't put together. Um, they, the, mu the fashion was as important as the music. It went hand in hand. And, you know, I, mean, the, I, I suppose people like Boy George, you know, amazing. You wouldn't have thought that that would work, you know, but absolutely the shock value, the quality of the music, the musicianship, it, it all sort of came hand in hand. And I th that, that, that's coming back now. I see that in a lot of bands that are influenced by, they, take, they cherry pick the good bits of all these bands from, from that period. Cherry picking. When are you going back on tour in Germany with Spano Bella? Is there anything happening? Anything planned? We, we sort of we, we, we kind of take 
gaps in time where we don't do anything for w various reasons. And, uh, and uh, that we'll, we'll be back. I reckon next year we'll be doing something together. Yeah, look forward to that. Okay, cool. Steve, thank you so much. Enjoy the, thank you. the movie. Thank you so much. And practice your German. Next time we do the whole thing in German.